Williams is a fabulous English comedian. Hello. Hi. My name is James and I come from England. <laughs> In Sweden there is an expression that says there is no such thing as bad weather, just bad clothes. I like to joke with my English friends that we don't have that expression in, in Manchester because the rain, it comes along the road. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't keep that up. Thank God. Yes. I was even irritating myself. Uh, I live in Sweden now. And uh, one thing I've noticed that... Uh, sets Sweden apart from England is the way that uh, Swedish car thieves choose their cars. Because <laughs> I, I live in the country and uh, it's where all the people from Stockholm dump their stolen cars. <laughs> Thanks. And I imagine the choosing process for the average Swedish car thief to be along the lines of BMW, no. Mercedes, no. Volvo 740, oh yes. <laughs> I can imagine phoning their friends, I've nicked a car, what have you got? It's a Volvo 740, yes. <laughs> but what year? <laughs> it's a 1987. <laughs> but that was before they had side impact protection system. <laughs> Are you mad? <laughs> They're death traps. <laughs> I'm not going in that. We could get hurt. Which brings me neatly onto the subject of the fact that absolutely everything now is shit. And I will start with things on cars that are completely unbloody necessary. I have a fairly modern car. It has a rain sensor. As if I'm not fucking clever enough to see when it is raining. <laughs> Driving along. Wait a minute. What the? I can't see! What am I gonna do? Oh, thank God. Ooh. They are not worth having, believe me. One thing I do like is the reversing assistant. If that's what they're called. You know, the beep, 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 beep. Except mine doesn't seem to pay attention. <laughs> mine is like your dad standing out, yeah, right? Low space, low space. Come on, come on, come on. Fucking hell! You need to hit that car! Are you mad? <laughs> the next thing that is really, really stupid is swine flu. Yeah. I mean, this was supposed to kill billions. Like everyone, apart from like three people left. I was, I was just dreaming about what was gonna happen. I thought one thing would be that the traffic in Stockholm would be a hell of a lot better. But what it is, is uh, it gives everyone a chance to sort of feel a bit better because they're using more alcohol wash and stuff like that. Oh yeah, I'm really looking out for... I, I actually want better traffic in Stockholm. Yeah. So before I go and eat my dinner, I wipe my hands on a small pig. <laughs> Mobile phones. Shit. Absolutely pointless. When I grew up, when I were a lad, <laughs> when I grew up, I used to phone people. If they weren't in, you phone again later. Now people phone you up, and you say, oh, someone's phoned. And then you see them the next day, and they go, I called you. And you're like, yeah? I called you. And it's like, yeah? And they expect you to ring them back, because every, absolutely everyone has, like, caller display, and you can see when someone's called. And what I really hate is when you go to the phone, you know someone rings you, and you just make it, and it just turns off just as you get there. So what you do is you ring them back, and it rings and rings and rings. What the hell do they do? <laughs> They're like calling you. No, he's not there. 
They leave. The environment. It's also shit. I'm not a big fan of the environment. <laughs> I didn't get that, but <laughs> interesting. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the environment. I think the environment is fairly nasty. It has tried to kill me on numerous occasions. <laughs> Take lightning, for example. If you had a friend that when you stepped out of your house, he tried to shoot you, you probably wouldn't want to look after him. Or a friend that every midsummer came round and squirted a hose pipe over you <laughs> all day. Now, this is not something we should, but the thing is, it gives people a chance to feel a bit better than you. Let's be honest. There's people driving around in their hybrid cars, going, oh, feeling all fucking fantastic. It just makes me want to go out and buy a car that runs on like baby pandas or something like that. <laughs> Which are not available, I checked. <laughs> Stop clapping, I've forgotten what I was going to say next. <sighs> it's the worst thing. Tattoos! Yeah, natural. You see the way I, I, I link that in, yeah? Yeah, it's called professionalism. <laughs> oh, yes. Tattoos, everyone's got them. When I grew up, when I was a lad, uh, the only people that had tattoos were sailors and psychopaths. <laughs> so, you knew when you saw a tattoo that you were either going to get bummed, or eaten. <laughs> or both. <laughs> if it was a psychopathic sailor. <laughs> I decided to get a tattoo a couple of months ago. And uh, it's one of those things that really cheapest is not best. <laughs> he was midway through what should have been a fantastic picture of the Liverpool captain, Stephen Gerrard. <laughs> and he said to me, this is really exciting. I've never done a human before. <laughs> At the end, Stephen Gerrard looked more like Stephen Hawking. <laughs> I'm just incredibly glad I had it done on one of my children. <laughs> and that's all from me. Thank you.